there is a unique monument erected 40 kilometers from Shymkent. The symbolic Noah's Ark is located near the Kazagurt mountain range at an altitude of 910 meters above sea level. According to local legend, the prophet Noah, also known as Nuh, found his post-flood shelter there 2,000 years ago. Locals call that place Kemir Kalgan, which means the remaining boat in Kazakh. Since 2004, the ship has been greeting everyone who travels by car on the Almaty Tashkent Samara route. The flying ship is visible from afar, and at night it is illuminated by lights. Passing by Kazigurt mountain, tourists usually make a stop and go up to see the attraction, especially since the top offers a spectacular view of the mountains and endless steps. Shymkent is one of the oldest cities in Kazakhstan and Central Asia with a history of over 2,000 years. During this period, the city has gone from a medieval fortress to a modern and dynamically developing metropolis, becoming one of the largest industrial and commercial centers of the country. At present, Shymkent is Kazakhstan's third most populous city and the largest city in terms of area. In 2018, it became a million-plus city and received the status of a city of national significance. The metropolis gained fresh momentum for development, which allowed it to become another tourist attraction of the Great Steppe. Over the years of Kazakhstan's independence, the area of Shymkent has increased threefold. Thus, there is a new administrative and business center with high-rise residential complexes and shopping malls in the northern part of the city. The Shymkent Mayor's Office, the Kazakh Drama Theatre, the Exhibition Center and the Turkestan Reception Palace are located there. The metropolis has a rich cultural life. There are numerous theaters and museums, as well as a large number of other attractions that delight the local people with their beauty. Shymkent can rightfully be called a garden city. It leads among other cities of Kazakhstan in terms of the number of parks, squares and alleys. peaceful tranquility of the Shymkent State Dendrological Park makes it a favorite destination for city residents and tourists. It was founded in 1979 and research activities aimed at preserving the rich environment have been carried out there ever since. Arboretum is home to about 500,000 trees and over 1 million species of herbaceous plants, representing the flora of various geographical zones around the globe. Visitors can find such rare and exotic plants there that do not grow anywhere else in Kazakhstan. Thus, it was possible to grow the country's first tulip tree there, which is native to North America. The park, with an area of about 120 hectares, has the status of a specially protected area of regional significance.
There are plenty of beautiful and wonderful places to walk in Shymkent. The Baidibek B monument is a unique symbol of the city. The prominent Kazakh judge Baidibek Karashaula played an important role in the unification of the Kazakh people and nowadays is known as a significant historical figure. He was famous for his justice and wisdom and also for being the legendary ancestor of several clans of the Ula, Senior Rus. The monument to Karashauli was erected in 2012 at an altitude of 220 meters. It is a 23 meter high composition of which 10 meters is the sculpture itself. The name of the great ancestor and his deeds will remain in the memory of the Kazakh people forever. His mausoleum was built in the Baidibek village. The new architectural complex was constructed on the site of the old building in 1998. It is located next to the tombs of the five great mothers from whom various tribes originated. The architectural appearance of the building refers to a single chamber composition which is typical for the religious architecture of the southern Kazakhstan. The offspring of Baidibek's younger wife Nurila, known in these parts as Domalak Anna, is the largest branch of his dynasty. She is considered to be one of the legendary mothers of the Kazakh people. She was able to reconcile rival tribes through her wise decisions. Modest and caring, Domalak Anna is revered by the people as a symbol of motherhood. People come from everywhere to visit and pay their respects at her grave. As legend has it, there are two sacred stones in the Domalak Anna mausoleum and it is believed that only a righteous person can pass between them. Near the mausoleum, visitors can find accommodation for tourists and pilgrims. A beautiful large garden is also located there. Southern Kazakhstan is a place where people can touch history and feel ancestral spirits even through centuries. <laughs>